Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Denver Bearing Oil. So I'm putting coilovers on this car. I used to have a white E34 M5 that I sold to Will, and then Will decided he would rather have money than that, so he sold it back to me, and then I sold it to our friend Jason with the blue M3 that made a thousand horsepower. He decided it was too much of a restoration project for him, so he sold it back to me, and then I sold him the E39 M5. Anyway, in the process of while he had the E34 M5, he bought a set of BC coilovers. So those have just been literally sitting in the shop in a box and I was planning, somehow it was just stuck in my head that those needed to go on the white M5, but I have all these other coilovers, why do those have to go there? So I have a car that needs suspension in the shop and I have suspension in the shop. So it just makes sense, I'm gonna throw those on. So I'm currently, while I'm filming this, I'm filming a how-to video on this. So if you want a more in-depth way to actually how to install E34 coilovers, um, watch that video, it's up there. I'm gonna get to it, I unboxed them. Uh, I have over there a pile of junk. I have a set of stock knuckles with the tubes that I'll be cutting and we'll get to it. If you remember, this is the car that Zach and I took to Arizona, and if you follow me on Instagram, I was doing a one hour build on it, and all that entailed was I, uh, I put those wheels on it. But I feel like I should do a one day build. And we're gonna do some suspension stuff, we're gonna do some aesthetic things, and then we're gonna have to throw another set of wheels on it. If you guys watch the live stream, they, uh, they put that nice bend in there. And if you look at the inside, it cracked through. So that wheel's not salvageable. Bummer, the Roadstar style 40s are goners. Oh, well, I got three of them. But they're really expensive. So I'm not. it's not worth it for me to buy another one to replace it. First thing I need to do, I bought a new welder. I don't have any gas. I'm gonna go get some gas, and I'm gonna go get some claws. I don't know, maybe not claws, maybe beer. I don't know, maybe beer and claws. Beer. But, but I was thinking I go get all that stuff before I get started, then I can get real tuned up and work on cars, and not have to drive for the rest of the day. So, I'm gonna hit the road now, and figured, you know, it's been winter here, and cold, and haven't been driving cool cars. So I decided that I break out the old uh, V12, the 550i. So she's just been sitting. There's also a little bit of something wrong in the uh, in the dry or passenger side front. I don't know if it's a loose tie rod or something, but we kind of beat the hell out of them that weekend, and she's a little bit tired. But there's more plans for this car at some point. I'll get on the lift and fix that. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. So I'll see you in a bit when I get back with some gas and some booze. This thing is fucking sweet. I don't know why I haven't been driving. I made the video, I said ultimate daily driver. It's so good, even with that messed up steering. Brakes are so good. The torque's so good. I got the I got the claws. I got some hams. Shout out to Hams. We love your beer. Our filmer's named Hamish. We call him Ham. Sponsor us. Give us a pallet of beer. That'd be sweet. Um, but I got my Argon CO2, so I'm ready to do some welding. So let's get to that. All right, so we're over on the table. I got the welder set up and uh, weld some shit. I'm not the best welder, but there's one of them. Um, I'll get the second one done and then I'll, I'll show it to you. The 
affected up there too, but I don't know. I feel like she looks all right. I will. Uh, we'll call that welded. Minty, I left some uh, some wire in there for good measure. That adds strength. Yeah. It lets people know it was welded and not just like a factory finish. Exactly. It's like the build signature. So, just slamming them in. Just slamming them in. You know what I don't have in my hand? I don't have a beer in my hand. Yeah, we gotta get you a beer so you can slam it in. I'm doing coilovers, I'm doing brakes, and wheels. And then that's it for this. I'm gonna drive it out. So, we'll have more video at another time of doing maybe bumpers and trim and paint and other things to make it look a little bit better. But for today, or for this video, we're just gonna get a roll and drive it in. All right, just putting in the last bolt for the coilovers. And check out the new hotness, right angle impact. Great for all your uh, cross-threading needs. Ah, this is a lot more useful on the other side with the exhaust in the way. I probably could have fit a regular impact there. So let's get some studs on it. We can get the rear wheels on, and then let's go figure out a brake solution. Cool. So we went and got the uh, we got the brakes out. Ah, a little rustier than I remember. So I think they might have sat outside. I'm gonna clean them up real quick before I put them on. But. Um, as you can see, we ended up scrapping the other rotor, so I can't compare them. But these are 315 millimeters, I believe, and the uh, the factory 525i are 302. Um, I think they're both 30 mils, uh, 30 millimeters wide. Though. So we get a whiz wheel out, clean these off a little bit. Uh, there's actually barely a lip on them, so they should be just fine. And the pads were good. I just don't want all that rust going straight into the pad. So I'm gonna get them cleaned up. One thing I noticed, I didn't know. Uh, it must have different hubs because the uh, set screw doesn't line up. That's a huge pain if you don't have studs. If you have studs, it's not a huge deal. It's also hitting the dust shield like everywhere. So, we'll get the other one cleaned up. We'll get some brake clean on these and uh, we'll get them mounted up. We'll get the brake caliper swapped over. All right, we got those on and clean. They look all right. They'll, they'll polish out the rest of the way. And then we got our calipers. I'll pull this one off real quick and then we can compare the sizes. So they look actually very similar in size. They probably are actually maybe even the same caliper. But you can see that one's a 302 and this one's a 315. So it's probably just the mounting bracket. Yep, the mounting bracket's just different. So it might be just the caliper bracket. We learned today as this car gets rare parts. Yeah. Oh. So that's the BM Baby special tool, hammer and wrench. All right, now we go with the quickness. This is Chris's patented brake attachment technique. <laughs> Brakes installed. Don't need to bleed them. So I have actually done this and not had to bleed them if they come directly off the car onto a car. I have no idea how long these have been sitting though. They're gonna need more. Well, good thing we got fluid. Oh, did I fuck us? How'd you do it? I fucked us. Oh, with the line and the strut and everything? Yeah. Any chance you can get to use the new tool? We got everything on, we got the spacers on. I ended up finding 15 mils, threw them on the back, and then found 20 mils, threw them on the front. I think I'm gonna swap them. So I'm gonna put the 20 mil in the back, 15 mil in the front, 
and yeah. Let's go dry. Yeah, for sure needs 20 on the back. They're so good. Uh huh. They're so good. What do you mean? The BCs. Oh yeah. Like if you guys are on the fence at all. So. Don't worry, man. I got you. I haven't <laughs> adjusted the dampening at all, so these might be a little bouncy right now. But. This is just straight out of the box through Mont. I'm sure we messed with the screws on the dampening part. But this had $500 or whatever, $475 joms on them. And they're horrible. Like they just, they just weren't good. You know, like they gave you the look, but now with like the BCs, without touching anything, just driving them, they just, it feels like a nice car. Like it gives you all the aggression you need but it's such a nice, comfortable place to be. It's still solid. It's yeah. still got some give. Like, like, it just feels so much better than, than, yeah, than the... Than the cheapos. Yeah, because it actually has, like, a preload set and thing, so it actually can, like, do what coil lovers are supposed to do. It might sound aggressive if you can hear the noises, but this is, like, the worst road ever. How are the brakes? Feel like BMW brakes. They stopped the car. Yep. We're gonna get back to the shop and uh, that's gonna conclude this video. But there's more to come in the near future for the Calypso wagon. And we'll call this a uh, oh, little rub. We'll roll that fender a little bit. I bought these, these wheels and tires. They were on an E28 and I bought the E28. There are 235 45s in the front and then 245 45s in the rear. I like the front size, but the rear size is kind of weird. Um, it's, it's just slightly wider, but then it's also taller. So, oh God, those bumps, man, it feels so good. Totally fine. Like it just... Like it feels sporty is what it feels. Yeah, but you would still like want to take this on a road trip. Yeah. And like not be worried about the bumps and bottoming out and just... Like it just... Even with your minty welds. Yeah, my yeah. minty welds. Your minty welds. But, so, thanks for watching guys. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see how to install BCs on any 34, just uh, check out tomorrow's video. Have a good night and uh, drink a beer. <laughs>